Hello and welcome to my channel. On the table, another box. So let's see what we have. And this time it's the TF930 frequency counter. Well, let's see what's in the box. Okay, well in the box we found uh, the counter, of course, and the uh, power adapter. A uh, very small uh, plug. It's uh, 5 volts, 2 amps, and you just can connect uh, for the any out outlet you uh, like. So, but we take the European. It comes with the product information. Uh, also the manual that is already a hard copy. You get a three year extended warranty if you sign up on the website, which I did. And they even give you the certificate. Well, the counter does look very nice. Uh, it is not that heavy at all. And it even has a... To put it like this. The front, A input, B input, and your reference. I don't understand why they put a reference in the front. That is probably the board layout. Because there is a lot of space in the back. And yeah, well, the reference, why not put it in the back? No, you don't need it in the front. Once it's connected, it probably stays on. Um, in the back, a USB connection so you probably can send uh, commands not sure if it came with software I, I, I don't think so it's probably just the standard uh, USB here is the power in the amps seems a lot for the counter but uh, let's see okay so we have two uh, inputs oh cool it has a battery <laughs> just powers on immediately I didn't even connect the, the power supply so that's very nice for uh, portable use um, there is one uh, inputs the A input from uh, probably from uh, DC to uh, 125 megahertz you have the 1 mega ohm input and for the probe and also the 50 ohms and you have your second input that goes away up to 3 gigs a uh, simple button just to switch from A to B. The display shows also A to B. The display is not backlighted, which is a pity because that would have been a nice uh, extra. And uh, the rest, all the controls seem very, very explainable. It uh, doesn't look that complicated. Well, let's uh, put it to the test. Okay, I uh, connected a little. Uh, temperature compensated uh, crystal oscillator or like this it uh, should be exactly 10 uh, well it almost is but I I now uh, connected the same uh, oscillator to the oscilloscope and <laughs> I'm a bit relieved that it's uh, it says more or less uh, the same uh, frequency so and, and, and the siglent is also uh, brand new so I would think that uh, the, the, the little oscillator is maybe a, a bit off it's also not running for more than five minutes so maybe it uh, is still stabilizing and uh, even the peak tech uh, doesn't agree it is 10 so then they are all aligned so I'm uh, convinced that it's good Okay, let's see the B channel in the higher frequencies. Well, it is pretty sensitive. I see the attenuator is only on the A channel, not on the B channel, so we have to do with this. Uh, I have here a little portable radio. We will transmit on 144 800. Yes, it uh, does that. And try the other band. Well, it locks it, it locks it very uh, quickly. I also made a comparison with uh, Maconi. 
Uh, it has not been calibrated recently. Uh, must be more than, than four years. Uh, but it does have a good uh, quality oscillator. Um, so I'm, I'm convinced that uh, this one is also spot on. Um, when I compare the frequencies, you can see uh, between the, the TTI and the cyclant that they are very close together. And if we do the same with, uh, with the handy, we can see and um, that uh, so I'm, I'm convinced it's uh, nicely calibrated uh, from the factory. So that's nice. You, you can take it out of the box and immediately start using it. Well, not that immediate because they do advise you to have it at least uh, switched on more than uh, 15 minutes. So that uh, the little crystal oven and the compensated uh, temperature compensated oscillator uh, yeah, can stabilize. Conclusion, uh, I like this counter a lot, it has a good feel, feels all very stable. Um, yeah, for its price it's a really professional uh, counter. I really like what I did, that the update time is uh, different from the gate time. So I'm now on, on, on the 10 seconds and it's updating every 2, which is great because uh, you don't need to wait very long for your uh, answer. Um, would have been nice if they put the backlight in the display, but since it's running on batteries, maybe that's why they didn't. Uh, but they could have made it optional with a switch or something. Um, also, they could have put the external uh, reference. They could have put in the back. But uh, yeah, I'm 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 really happy with the machine. It's uh, it's a go. Okay, if you uh, think this review was uh, helpful, um, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. You can do on the on the right top. And uh, thanks you for watching.